is uh, 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Though we have our expression and we make contact with the external realm, we don't war after it. Mm -hmm. Though we have a living, breathing body, that we have an earthly temple, we don't war after it. Verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are what? Not carnal. Not carnal but who? Mighty through God to the pulling down of what? Strongholds. Strongholds. So, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So we don't fight back. We don't have to retaliate. Mm -hmm. Tit for tat. Y'all don't know about that. Let me get to the part you know about. For the weapons of warfare are not carnal. That word weapons is the instrument that God has committed to our stewardship. The hotline, the instruments. How many know there's some things that God has committed to us? Some weapons. How many know there's a, the name and the, uh, the the name and the blood and and, and the touching and agreeing and all that other stuff, you know, uh, that God has committed to us. The Holy Spirit has been committed to us. So we have some instruments. Praise and worship is an instrument. How I many know praise and worship is an instrument? You come in and you feel like you've been through hell and and and, 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 and then all of a sudden you come into the house of God and then you get in the, in the atmosphere and then all of a sudden things are supposed to break, <laughs> break off. <laughs> you know what I do in worship? Can I help you all out? Whatever I had a problem with when I wasn't in, into worship, I don't care if it's at home or if it's in public or private, I'd like to take it into the worship. Yes. Oh, you're going to be on my mind all day? I got you, buddy. Let me throw this one song on and just start speaking in tongues. I got four more days over here. Mm. Say, That's just Old Testament stuff. Not supposed to be New Testament stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, so warfare. This mighty new God. Did I get the fire? Nope. Casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So next week we're going to talk about that. Casting down imagination and high, every high thing. High thing? What is the high thing? The imagination. The images. So that's how the enemy, he makes us so susceptible to his plots. He don't attack without images. Look, you, look you worried, we, we worried about poverty. It's because of the images. That's why we struggle with poverty, because of the images. And most of us came from a place that was impoverished. Mm -hmm. And those images are still there. And you'll tell yourself, I'll never go grow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. It could be a good thing or a bad thing, though. Mm -hmm. It could make you a, a liberal giver. That's true. Come on. Or what they, what they call another one? Die. I have to think of another name. Not for real. No, no. Stingy. That's the name. Yeah. Tight wad. That's what he's called me back in the day. That TV is tight. No, 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 no. I'm frugal. I always been. It ain't got nothing to do with tight. I would give. It had to be the right causes. I'm not going to let you play with my hard earned money. Come on. I'm sorry. You get what I'm saying? You just want to go do whatever you want. I sit over here and enslave myself. Serving, serving them for Peter to get paid. 
And then you just go with your freelance, who's my money? <laughs> you, you dancing out of my presence, and I'm like, I'm going to sit. No, 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 no. Then you quit. <laughs> no, Tony, you ain't taking them, no, no. I'm still in that day, my wife will tell you, I'll be like, what you need it for? <laughs> Where you going? My wife be like, hey, man, you ain't got to ask all those questions, leave, them, leave the kids alone. <laughs> I mean, no, no. Because I know for a fact, once you keep doing it, they're going to expect it all the time. So you have to draw the line. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially on them. And if they the kids, be knocking at the door all the time. That's true. And they get slick. Instead of coming for 40, they go for 20. They low ball <laughs> you. If I, you did so many 40s or 20s, it's like a break for you. Come on, you know what I'm You can give them a little smile because you know they ain't asking for it. Here you go, here you go. I thought he was going to ask for 40. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to tell you what my uncle told me. That's the underlay for the overplay. That's all that is. He set you up. No, no, I just be like, no. I don't care if it's $5, $2, $2.50, one cent at five, a dollar and a quarter, no. <laughs> You come to me, I'm going to preach. <laughs> then you don't want to come around. Hey, <laughs> see, he always got to say something about it. Oh, he's not with it. Every time I ask him, right. That's your penalty. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about interest. I'm going to penalize you. you come <laughs> Father, we bless you tonight. We thank you for this word. Thank you for what you're doing on the inside of us. You're bringing an understanding to us. And I just, I just pray as a house. That whatever thief that's operating in our life, be it religion, be it demonic, be it things we've already conjured up, be it from our biological stuff, life experience, all those things that want to deter us from the one goal, which is Christ being formed in us. And I pray that we understand this and get it deep down in our spirit that what we do with our lives Thank, we thank you for the word, but the management of the total person and who we really are must work in conjunction with your spirit and what the word is said. Without it, we'll be unfruitful. And I pray that they get this and, and understand if we're going to be fruitful, we must be lawful. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.